By early afternoon, the winds had started to whip up, the smoke became thicker, and the people of Jamison and surrounding areas began to focus very closely on just what these fires were doing. Firefighters have just put out a fire on this side of the house, and now here's another one. It's just unpredictable. One minute's going one way, next minute's going another. And it's these large smoke plumes on the ridge just behind me here that are really concerning firefighters. here apart from being an active firefighter is I do staging area management for CFA in this area. Prior to NextG uh, the system being uh, introduced we used to use uh, landlines, fax machines and maybe mobile phones. Oh, the biggest benefit to us is clearly the uh, speed of information transfer and also portability, uh, the ability to uh, arrive and uh, have things up and running within minutes of uh, getting to a staging area site. The major benefit of this next year technology is the speed and the fact that it can be set up it appears in little old country showgrounds uh, and give really fast internet and email. I'm a news reporter for Sky News, I'm based in Melbourne and usually we have great facilities in Melbourne where we can send things up a line but here in a remote location like at the bushfires where it's all about getting the information across right now because the bushfires are obviously changing by the minute. We use a laptop computer and using it the NextG technology we're able to put it all together, export it as a file and then send it straight over the internet basically back to our newsroom and the technology is so good that it works right through the mountains you wouldn't think that you'd be able to get broadband access wireless super fast in alpine regions and yet that's what we've got. It's fast, it's quick and it's reliable so you can't ask for much more than that. Here we've got a number of laptop cards and they're in some of the laptops that are around in the region headquarters and places. We've also got a wireless router, all it needs is a PowerPoint and it will supply four laptops and plus a wireless network for any laptop that comes into range. If they're moving a staging ground from one staging ground to another, all I have to do is unplug it from the power, plug it into the next spot and they're up and going. NextG has been amazing and revolutionised the way these guys go about doing their jobs in these sort of environments. Each night or each during the day they actually send up helicopters to go into a what they call a line scan exercise and that information actually tracks where the hot spots of the fire are to, to see where the fire is moving and, and how big it is and uh, from there they actually can put that onto, onto very um, detailed maps. Now we've got 3G out in the staging areas they can actually email those detailed maps out to the guys on the ground and the guys on the ground can actually see that in extremely good detail and they get a really good picture about how they're going to deploy their strike teams to um, have the best effect. There needs to be uh, good communication and, and fast and accurate uh, communication and I think this system allows us to do that. Well, the benefit is clearly uh, the speed at which we can get it established, the actual speed of the data flow and the portability of, uh, of the system. I think from my short experience uh, of using it the other day, uh, it's, uh, it's all good.